Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three ways to deal with negative or even very controlling people. People that always have an opinion of you, want you to act a certain way, be a certain way, do a certain something. Today, I'm gonna to share with you three ways that you can deal with overbearing, over controlling, and perhaps negative people. But first of all, here is a quick intro. On today's video, I'm sharing three ways that you can deal with negative or controlling people. So, first of all, number one is to remember to choose kindness. Choose kindness. Do not try to fight. Do not try to argue. Do not try to have your opinion heard in that moment. It will escalate into more and more and more of a heated argument or a heated conversation or a never ending discussion. When you can see somebody needs to be right and you have to think their way, then just take a deep breath and let it be. Let it go. In your mind, in your heart, you know what you feel. You know what you think. You know what your truth is. Allow that to be your truth. Allow that to be real for you. And instead of wasting, or there's no such thing as wasting because it's always beautiful lessons, but instead of focusing or channeling your energy into their argument and into their world where it's going to keep coming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, how much time do you want to immerse your energy into a conversation that isn't serving either of you. There are so many more wonderful, incredible, powerful, motivating, inspiring, educational things that you can pour your energy into. Even if it's just looking at the sky and appreciating the sun, which I can do actually from this window right here. So number one is to choose to be kind. Do not try to fight them. Number two, breathe. So often when somebody says something that we don't agree with or we know that they're lying or we understand uh, whether it's energetically or through contradiction of statements that this isn't right or right for you because again as I share in other videos and this is going a lot lot deeper what is right or wrong it is it's different it's different ways of beings and I know that that's a very very general way of, of set sharing what could be a deep topic but when somebody is trying to get a rise out of you like like Bob my little dog is trying to get my attention here right now when somebody is trying to get your attention so easy uh, not your attention now I'm getting distracted by the dog bear with me when somebody is trying to interrupt you when somebody is trying to control push their opinion onto you so often we want to react we want to argue. We need, as I was saying in point number one, we almost feel that need to be right. So what I wanna share in this point is choose your response. Be able to choose to respond in kindness. Be able to choose kindness. Be able to choose your way of being. Not step into an emotional bubble where we start to say things that we do not mean. So pause and take a deep breath. I was having a chat with a beautiful friend, Louise, in London, Louise McNestry, she's amazing. And we saw somebody that had a semicolon tattoo and I'd always thought that that was for domestic abuse and it was a, a symbol of someone, like a survivor coming out of that situation. But of course, she referred to it in punctuation in the English language, a, a semicolon. It literally means stop and pause. And that is tip number two, stop, pause and be able to choose your response choose to say okay i hear you thank you for sharing that with me thank you for saying that but i am going to go and do something different and you don't need to tell them that you don't need to start an argument you don't need to involve another 
uh, incident that could start pulling you back or pulling you down. Just be able to choose the appropriate response. Choose kindness, thank you, hug, and then be able to go the other way. Do not react. Do not start spurting conversation or statements or words back at them in any moment. It doesn't serve you and it says more about who we are than who they are in those moments. And tip number three, which might be able to help you with the first two tips around being able to be kind in those moments, choose kindness, and be being able to stop, pause, and breathe so that you're choosing your response, you're allowing yourself to pick kindness. But how can we do that? What's another way of being able to allow ourselves to stop and pause and choose our response, choose kindness in those moments? Tip number three is to remember, it is not about you. It is not about you. So often when somebody mistreats us or is not very kind or uh, lies or forces an opinion or tries to control you, so often we take it into our own minds that it's our mistake, it's our fault, there's something wrong with us. Now, if you feel you have a big emotional charge and you find it that urge to argue with them, then with love, and this can be difficult to hear, I found this a very, very difficult part of my journey, but if you feel that need and you, you are reacting and you are responding and there's a lot of emotion coming out of you, we also call that, or that is also known as an emotional charge. You have an emotional charge to this situation, which probably means you're not healed inside and maybe just maybe whatever it is that they're saying or you're defending or or that heat is actually about something that is is inside of you something for you to be able to go and either speak to a coach a mentor or a healer whatever is right for you but go and speak to somebody and and allow yourself or go through a process that allows you to have some healing if there is an emotional charge there it is something inside of you because as Gandhi says and this is one of my favorite favorite quotes everybody type this in the comments box below type this in the comments box below if you are not part of this channel I mean first and foremost hit that subscribe button I always go up and I think it's below <laughs> Uh, do hit that subscribe button and join us. It's all about rising together and together I do believe we are stronger. But also type this below. Gandhi says, nobody, nobody has permission to hurt us except ourselves. Nobody has permission to hurt us except ourselves. So if something that somebody else is saying to you or a situation is happening that is causing you a lot of emotion inside, go within start that healing process. However, if you're able to relax completely and just be calm and over time you can really practice doing this. I've been able to do this. I've gone from being an incredibly heated, fiery woman to being able to stay calm. I'm still fiery, I'm still strong, I'm still determined, I'm still passionate, but I don't feel that need to fight anymore. I don't feel that need to be right. And by dropping that, by being able to choose kindness, choose my response, by being able to lead from love, and then last but not least, to understand that it's not about me unless I make it about me. And it's not about you unless you make it about you. If 20 people are walking down the street, 20 people are walking down the street and someone goes, you! I nearly said something even more rude then. I think I can get away with this on YouTube. You idiot! And you turn around and there's 20 people all together walking in one direction. And you turn around, they're not calling you the idiot. That's what you're calling yourself. So I guess there's kind of a part A and a part B to tip number three, because part A is check and see if there's an emotional response there. Understand within yourself and take your time to heal and practice being able to come from calmness and peace inside of you. And with enough practice in time, that is when you will absolutely be able to understand, but yet this quote will, no, so you will be able to live, but for now, this quote will help you, or this share will help you understand everything else I've been saying in this video, is to remember that it's not about you, it's about them. How many times have you reacted, or you've had a thought, you've had an opinion, you've had an idea about something, you've heard a rumor, and you've turned it inside of your head, because we all come from our own thoughts, our own meanings, and our 
our own perspectives. So everything that we are sharing and saying has an element of, of what's inside of us coming out. So you need to know that more often than not, when people snap, when people shout, when people are controlling, it's not about you. When people are overbearing with you, when people feel that need to talk about themselves, talk about themselves, talk about themselves, look at them and just think, wow, what are you compensating for? Is there an insecurity behind all of this? Could there be something more with you? And when you're able to have no emotional charge to it and just be calm and say, no matter what they say to you, so whether they say, I love you or, <laughs> whether they say something really nasty, you're able to just, I choose my reality. I know that's not about me. I know I come from my heart. I know I come from love. And I'm choosing peace in this moment. In fact, more than that, I'm choosing to send love back to them. Because I know it's not about me. So I choose kindness. I choose my response. And I send love. Send love to everybody and everything and everyone. No matter what my thought of good, bad, right, wrong, different. No matter what that thought process is. Remember, it's not about you and send love. That's it on today's video. I hope that you have taken some value. If there is anything that you want to know more about, then please do ask your questions, comment below, and of course, please do let me know where you are tuning in from. I love, love, love getting to know who is watching these videos. We've got a really nice little, it's little, but we're growing, little core that rock up to so many of these videos that are commenting and supporting, and I appreciate it so much. Share your story, share your wins, share what resonates with you within these stories and add in your thoughts and your ideas because after all as i say this is all about rising together so that's it from me today remember to subscribe if you are not already and i will see you on tomorrow's i will see you tomorrow for another daily video so that we can explore experience and expand